Now, if your own life is in danger of turning into too much of a soap opera, Deirdre is here to help. Hi, Deirdre. Hi. Deirdre, what would we Hi. do without you? <laughs> I'm sure you'd all manage very well. <laughs> You've never had air transplant, have you? Hey, no, no. No. Just no, want to check. No, no, Seems no. to be a quite no, a current all, topic all at the own. moment. All, all your own, own all your yeah. own. Uh, listen, Deirdre, we've got so many calls as expected. We've mm. got Jane on the line. Jane, are you there? I am, yes, hi. Morning, Jane. Thanks for calling in. Morning. Uh, Jane, you, you've you got a bit of a dilemma. Tell us what's going on. Um, I have. I left my husband last year, and um, after having an affair for five years, um, I, my two youngest children were not my husband's, which I had to confess to. Uh, the father of my two children visits every two weeks, but he still lives with his wife of 30 years, and she's unaware of my two children's existence. Yet every two weeks he promises he's going to leave and he's going to tell her, and five years later we're still waiting. So is there something going on between you more than just him coming to see the kids? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Okay. So yeah, you, you, yeah, nothing's changed. You, so you two are still in a relationship, and presumably your children know this is their dad who's coming to visit, so you're not keeping a secret yes. from them? No, no, everybody on my side of my family is aware of the whole situation, um, but his family are not. And it's, it's, it's his a complete secret. him keeping the secret from his wife that is really eating into you. And are you ever tempted to tell her yourself? <laughs> I have been tempted, but then I also think she's done nothing to me, so why would I do that to her? Yeah. So, uh, and it's up to him. If he truly wanted us, he would leave, wouldn't he? I, I agree with you, I, and I do think it would be a very dangerous thing to tell her because the trouble is that you could just reap everything wrong, as in he might be so angry about that, he actually then breaks with you and maybe isn't such a regular dad seeing his kids and things like that. Is he supporting them properly? Yes, absolutely. I always have since, since the day I found out I was pregnant good. with them, he supported completely and visited. They've had really good contact. It's just that he's promised to be a full-time dad and he's failing us and on that. And he's not. Jane, sorry, can yeah. I just quickly ask as well, has he got kids with his wife that he, he's with he, now? He has, yes, yeah. But, uh, grown up, yeah. They're grown-up children, yeah. So it's a different... Yeah. How old are your children, roughly? Are we talking about, like, primary-age uh, children? They're, or... they're, uh, I've got um, primary school children. Yeah, OK, age. so they're young. Yeah. And they yeah. need protecting and... Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think it's really difficult and I think you've got to just really look at your own feelings closely because really, it is going to come down to an ultimatum. It's the only way to get any change on. You're going to have to say... You're going to think to yourself, first of all, would you rather accept things as they are and at least he is coming to see the children and he is supporting you or do you want to say, I so mind you not coming here and not being a full-time partner to me and dad to your children, that unless you come on my terms, I'm actually going to break with you. And I wouldn't make that move in a hurry. I'd really think about it and think through what are the likely repercussions, because it's not about you telling his wife. It is about his loyalties. And, you know, his children need him, and I maybe would emphasise that. And maybe he, you know, he's been having this affair all this time. Maybe it is time he reaped the whirlwind and confessed all to his family. But, as I say, it is up to you and be careful and think it through first. If you want to, you know, you could talk to relate, even though it'd probably just be you talking by yourself. But using counsellors like that, it can really help you weigh up the pros mm. and cons. Good luck, Jane. Good luck.